now that we all agree that the managed delivery service is the way to go in ngn for effective control and better delivery of services let's look at the options we have with regards to service provisioning so we are going to look at the service types and how these services are invoked or are not invoked to begin with we say that the service types in ngn through mds are available depending upon certain characteristics these characteristics are are these services subscription based or non subscription based are these services based upon some kind of explicit request kind of mechanism and is there a control process through which these services can be negotiated between the third party and the ngn operator on the basis of it we can look at three different viewpoints that is a subscription based viewpoint in which we have subscription based services and non subscription based services the subscription based services are actually in a turn connected to all three uh, service types that is what kinds of services can be requested from the network we can have an always on service we'll briefly talk about this we have pre scheduled service and we have on demand service now the subscription based uh, services are connected to all these different three service types whereas the non subscription based is only connected to the on demand service then we have the control view that is once we have a relationship or business relationship between service providers as third parties and the ngn as an architecture so we have either controlled process or we have no control process let's look at these in detail now the subscription based service types actually are the ones which exhibit some kind of uh, regular behavior uh, it is uh, you can say a regular behavior in terms of temporal behavior that is it's a timed behavior examples are uh, uh, vpn connectivity that users uh, would like to subscribe to we have the leased lines uh, we have the network controlled real time services like uh, voice over ip um iptv etc so these kinds of services have something in common that is uh, from the user's perspective they are related to uh, some kind of uh, repetitive behavior from the user so user once subscribes to these are is going to uh, stick on with these then we have non subscription based services uh, these are basically the uh, user demands uh, which do not have prior subscription requirement uh, so whenever a user feels like watching a video known as the video on demand service or bandwidth on demand service or when a user wants to establish a video call uh like video phone or a multi party conference call so these are these don't need explicit uh, uh subscription um then we have the request viewpoint request viewpoint actually means that is the user uh, going to make an explicit request or the request is assumed to be uh, already there uh, so when a user is available online uh we say that uh, the user is going to get a service all the time whenever a user is online and we say the user is going to get always on service the moment a device attaches to the user device attaches to the network um the user becomes online and the service starts getting provisioned uh, for instance billing is a service which is based on always on Uh, service type so when the user is not connected this service is automatically terminated or disconnected then we have the uh, pre scheduled services 
Now, pre-scheduled services are the ones which are uh, time-based. Uh, for example, uh, calendar, annual calendar-based services which get invoked on a certain time of a certain day. So this actually can only happen uh, if user and the third party have already agreed on this uh, service provisioning in the form of some uh, contract. Uh, then we have the uh, on-demand service. The on-demand service is the one which is only triggered by uh, the user on demand. Now, this is similar to the uh, applications like video on demand, bandwidth on demand, etc. So this is yet another viewpoint known as the service request viewpoint. Now, if we just combine all these and we realize that these are all intertwined or interlinked with each other, so we can expect that uh, we are now going to look at the third link that we talked about in the MDS business model. That is whether a third party uh, takes part in uh, a service provisioning process or not. Uh, it is based on the control process. So the control process comes through the participatory role of the service provider and the NGN. So if the third party takes part in the service processing and service delivery, um, so it means that there's an agreement between third party and engine operator. So all the services, including uh, uh, always on, uh, pre-scheduled and on demand can be realized if uh, there's a relationship, direct relationship between the third party service provider and the engine operator. If there is no participation as such, uh, in that case, uh, uh, we don't expect the uh, um, on-demand service to be uh, provided because the on-demand service can only be provided if there is active interaction between the uh, service provider and the third party. The other services like always on service and the pre-scheduled service uh, once uh, agreed can always be uh, pr uh, provided without the participation or the relationship between the third party and NGN. Uh, 